it when they ask you a question and it's just as you've put a mouthful in your mouth and then you're just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We're drinking today. Yes, it helps. Today we're going to discuss first date horror stories mm. and the worst things that could happen on a first date because we've all been there. We can't have just been married from birth. So it's very relatable. Especially now uh, online dating is such a thing. I feel like we have so many more first dates and they're just so freaking awkward. Not like the old days where you just marry someone who was going into the army. Specifically only the army. Yeah, like in like ye old songs from the war. Yes. Or you just My meet love, someone. Yeah. Write me a letter. Hmm. I know the one. Then we shall wed. <laughs> anyway. Well, you like live in a village and you just meet the other person in the village and that's it. Now, we're going to do it chronologically because if anything, we're logical. Oh, yeah. As, as a pair. The first one is how do you choose where to meet? Why are you laughing? I don't know. It's because you were like, the first one is like you're doing a game show. The first one in what is in the box? It's a dead mouse. You know, you're at the point where you're going to have a date. Then you have to decide where. I do quite like it if a guy does just sort of suggest a place but only once he knows where I live because when they suggest somewhere that's miles away or right next to their house yeah that's just awkward. laziness is what yeah. that is you just clearly want to do the least and then mm -hmm. you always go over afterwards so if it's left up to you then you have to be the one that decides what's the polite equidistance to choose yeah you don't want to sound like a selfish bitch by being like come to near me I'm holding my glass really high up as if it needs to be in the shop this is my friend. So then once you've finally figured out where you're going to have the date, also if you've figured out if you're going to have coffee or dinner or drinks, that's another whole thing that I can't be bothered to go into. The next thing is, are you punctual? Do you show up on time? Is it cool to be a little bit late or should you get there early to secure a spot so that you're not the one wandering around looking for the person? In my experience, I'm usually the first one trying to be late and showing up yeah, late on time. Yeah, that's because you are so early for I everything. Know, I'm not early, I'm punctual. I'm perfectly on time for everything. When have I ever been early? All right, I don't know how the hell you are. I'm literally on time. Exactly. No, I'm perfectly <laughs> on time. I don't, it's just a weird tick I have, slash I'm very, very considerate. I always try and be on time. It's not like I walk out the door thinking, ha ha, I want to be late. Just am. Maybe it's good to be like five. Five to ten. What? Late or early? Late. Late is lame. No one early is early. Uh, yeah, early is lame. But then you have the whole thing of like, they're probably still gonna be late, so are you then later than late because they're gonna be late? Do you yeah. know what I mean? And that one time you pick to be later than late, bloody fuckers are early, oh. aren't they? My boyfriend is incredibly punctual. Every day we went on, he was there first, and I started to feel like a complete, like just a mess of a person. He just <laughs> bowls in late. Once you're at the venue, if it's an online date, then there's a big chance that you haven't seen them in real life, and their mm. photos are even very generous, because it's very misleading. You just like show up, and you walk around, and you just kind of, you don't want to be looking around too much in case, in case you take, make eye contact with someone who isn't them, and then you decide it's them. But yeah, what? I'm, <clears throat> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I have literally done that before and then been like, oh god, that's not him. And they're like, I'm standing outside and you're like, but I'm outside too. <laughs> oh no. You're like, I bet you can see me. I, I hate the idea that they can see you looking like an idiot, basically. Yeah. Like, I hate the idea that I'm wandering around a restaurant and they're like, ha ha, there's the girl. Ha ha, what a fool. I've been at the point where I've literally texted the person and be like, hey, do you want to meet outside the restaurant? Just because I think there's a smaller amount of like space to try and meet them in. The worst thing is when they text you saying, at the bar, and I'm like, there's 50 single men at the bar. So once you do your little introductions and uh, you get the menu and all, it's really hard to look at the menu and decide what you want when you are trying to like interact with the human that's opposite you. You don't want to be rude and stare at a menu for too long. So I do this thing where I'm like, kind of looking up and down and I'm not taking in anything mm -hmm. that's on the menu. And it's been like 20 minutes and I still haven't actually looked at one f***ing item on the menu. Yeah, the worst thing is when you both realize that's happening and you joke about it and then you really can't look at the menu. I think that's better to joke about it. <laughs> I like to just bring things out in the open, as you know, you hate that about me. But I'd much rather just like <laughs> lay my cards on the table. It's just annoying because like you can joke about this with us and people, everyone knows this happens. You can look at a meme about it yeah. and yet it still happens and people don't address it. Yeah. It's just like... Sometimes I'll literally order something I don't really want because I know I'm not going to enjoy it because I, I can't concentrate on it. And what's the yeah. point in like eating something that's really like high in calories because it's delicious if you're not going to be able to taste it properly? That's a good dieting tip. And I hate it when they ask you a question and it's just as you put a mouthful in your mouth and then you're just like... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hold on a second. It's your fault for asking me, but I'm the idiot. I'm never going on a date again. I'm legitimately <laughs> going to marry my cat. 
is it legal? I haven't had a first online date in a, in a while and they're always the I worst. I hate them so much. Everyone hates them. Why can't they just go away? Why can't we all just stand in a room, get really drunk and wait that's the nightclub? Yeah, and it doesn't really work. <laughs> Most of the time, the people look completely different from their profile pictures, like we said. That's bad for trying to recognize them, but it's also like- Bad for business. I mean, it's not like it matters particularly if they look different. It's just like you've built up this idea of them in your head that because you text a lot and then you kind of imagine them saying the things out loud. That's so true. And yeah. their voice and then they turn up and they act, their mannerisms and stuff are completely different from what you're expecting. And they can be completely the opposite of what you like. There's been dates I've been on and I kind of already talked about it, but you get there and you realize immediately that you just don't find them attractive. And it's not because they're ugly, it's because their vibe and their like chemistry, oh, no! It doesn't mean the camera's stopped. We haven't got any light. Marco, it's probably a few. Oh, I thought it was. Wait, the, is it the whole street? It's the whole street. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it is the whole street. Oh! It's back! It's back! It's back! Literally, like the time, like a few weeks ago, I was on camera at my old job and an earthquake happened. And they have footage of me experiencing an earthquake and realizing it wasn't just traffic. Um. I'll make some point or other, I'm sure. No, it's yeah. so frustrating and it's like, obviously, it's completely rude to be like, actually, can I save us both a few hours? There should be something on the app that when you go to the bathroom, you can just press something that goes, abort mission, and you just can leave. I mean, aside from the whole awful conundrum of menu ordering and trying to talk while eating, the worst thing is when you literally have nothing to say, neither of you, and you're just stuck there and like, and even if you do break the silence, it's gonna be with something shit that's about the weather or the drink you're drinking. In this f feminist day and age, which I much appreciate, what do you do with the bill? I still kind of want the guy to pick the check up. I'm still a little traditional in a sense, but I like to offer, and I would split it if he asked me to split it, but I'd also be slightly offended. Just the first one, and you know, it's all, you know. Uh... Do you know what that's based on though? When it comes to like, I don't mind spending money, but like, I just, there's this like innate thing in me that like, I know men are trying to have sex more than we are. So they should fucking try pay, hard. Pay. Yeah, they, they should, should pay they for should it. They should pay for it, that's not what I meant. But they should at least, yeah, like make an effort. Like they're the ones yeah. who are gonna try and like have sex with you and run away, most likely. Yeah. So I'm like, still, I still agree with women that. Women are the more, I mean, it depends on the situation, but mostly, and in sitcoms and movies, women are the innocent one that gets screwed over. Yeah. And so we're, we have our guard up, and so if we're then paying for this dude's check, it just feels I'm a bit annoyed. weird. This is the first video we've ever done where the power has gone out in the middle, so I hope this makes it super viral. Yeah, oh my god, these girls tried to do a video, but guess what happened a third of the way through? And then the thumbnail's just black. In summary, dating sucks. <laughs> If you get past the first date, it might be nice. Hey, at least then it means you don't have to go on another first one. Let us know if you have had any date horror stories and if you agree with any of these points. And if you have any tips for us going forward. Yeah. Well, I'd like some. I may ask to listen to them. <laughs> this is high horse. It is not a good thing to be in a relationship. It is a neutral thing. And I'll still listen to them, I guess. Because I can't take the advice. Oh, I'm just going to dump my boyfriend so I can go on the first date. Um, but, um, I should have up. Sorry. Mm. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye. <laughs>